Secretary of Defense Jim Mattis and Commander of United States Africa Command General Thomas Waldhauser visited Djibouti. Included in the tour was the United States' only military base in Africa, Camp Le Monnier. During his visit, Secretary Mattis met with the Djiboutian President Ismail Omar Ghaleh and Minister of Defense Ali Hassan Badan to reaffirm the strong American Djiboutian relationship. Uh, President Ghaleh and I just had a very good meeting. Uh, it, was, it went right to the heart of the partnership, which is very, very strong uh, and actually strengthening from this perspective. And I agree with him. I expressed uh, my thanks here in the 40th year of the independence of the modern state of Djibouti for everything they have done. And you'll remember uh, those who go back to those hectic days after 9-11. This was a country that stepped forward at the end of 2001, early 2002, and said, we're with you. And they've been with us every day and every month and every year since. In addition to relationships, General Waldhauser addressed the increasing concerns about piracy off the coast of Djibouti. There have in the last month been four, five, maybe six uh, piracy uh, attacks here in the region. Uh, some of the reasons we see that have to do with the drought and the famine because some of the vessels that have been uh, taken under hijacking have had some food and some oil on them. Uh, moreover, these particular ships have been very small in, in stature and really a, a, a lucrative target for pirates. And uh, the bottom line is there have been a half dozen or so. We're not ready to say there's a trend there yet, but we'll continue to watch it. While at Camp Le Monnier, Secretary Mattis was able to meet with coalition forces, including French military personnel based in Djibouti. From here, he continued his tour across the Middle East and Africa. Reporting from East Africa, I'm Staff Sergeant Lindsay Cryer.